Hey there candle welders, this is Nick coming at you from Vaughan, Ontario today. Today we're doing part three on the video series of this TIG ACDC 201 Pulse D. As promised, today we're going to be doing the stick welding section of this. So like I've mentioned before, this TIG welder also does stick welding. And sometimes when people see a small machine like this, they can doubt uh, how much power it can really deliver. So all I could find laying around today was these 530 seconds 308L16 Hyundai rods. So these are for doing stainless steel. I don't have a ton of experience with them, but we're gonna run it. We're gonna see how it goes. And from some of the past videos, I've got a lot of these just leftover pieces of steel. Steel is expensive these days. So I fit up a piece. We got an open butt. We're gonna run our bead on, and we're gonna see how it goes. And I'm gonna be completely honest, not positive how it's gonna go, but however it comes out, I'm gonna show it to you guys. No switcheroo, no 10 tries until I get it perfect. We're gonna lay it down, we're gonna see how it looks, and we're gonna go from there. Before I do that though, right now this machine is set up to do some DC TIG welding. So I'm gonna bring the camera in real close. I'm gonna show you guys how I switch this over into the stick welding settings. Uh, I've already swapped the cables, but that's simple enough. You don't really need to see that. And then we're gonna do this weld. We're gonna film it with the tinted lens on. Then we're gonna back it up. We're gonna chip it off together, see how it looks. And then I'm gonna say goodbye. All right, so stick around. Okay, so it looks like our machine right now is set up in two-step DC, hot start on, pulse TIG welding. That's not what we want to do today. We want to do stick welding. So it's real simple. Boom. Now I'm in stick welding mode. You'll see that all of these have turned off because they're moot. With the rods we're using today, we can run AC or DC. I don't have a ton of experience with these rods, but my heart says DC. I do not want 170 amps. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this to, I think about 120. I'm hoping 120 is good. We'll see. I might get pretty hot, but we'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. Lock that in. Whoop. Lock it in. All right. That's as easy as it is to set up. Nothing else to do. Uh, yeah, nice and simple. Quick. Okay. Let's get down to our weld. Okay guys, so as promised, I did a couple short tests here, but we were more just testing to see how the camera was going to pick up the weld, right? Because that's tricky to do. We did our complete weld here. I'm very confident it went good because already I can see my slag is cooling and it's peeling up on its own. So nothing stuck, whatever. Let's do the big reveal here and see if this turned out well. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. I do like these stainless steel rods. What a nice looking little weld. You lose the color when you wire brush it, but the rainbow on it is really, really cool. Okay, let's get the camera to come in closer and show you guys exactly what we're doing here or how it came out. Clean that up. Okay guys, so here it is. This is our weld, quarter inch thick plate. 532nd uh, S308-16N stainless steel Honda welding rods. One and done. No camera trickery, no multiple attempts. That's it. It's not perfect. My travel speed could have been slightly more consistent, but really smooth rods to weld with and the machine handled it no problem. I had no fluctuations in power and I had a really nice stable arc the entire time. That impressed me. Good stuff. I'm glad that went well. That's awesome. Okay guys, that sums it up for the third part of our TIG ACDC 201 Pulse D series. 
Uh, I had some fun stick welding with this thing today. To be honest, I pretty much only ever use these for TIG welding because I love to TIG weld. I have a big stick welder at home. I use that for everything, but this thing ran really slick. I liked using it. I surprised it handled these big 532 second rods so smoothly. And, uh, and I really enjoyed using these stainless steel rods. These things are actually pretty slick. I'm gonna take a handful of these home and mess around with them, I think. Um, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give us a like. If you really, really enjoyed it, give me a subscribe. That would be amazing. Um, and most importantly though, keep leaving me comments. It doesn't really matter what they are. If you got ideas, I wanna hear it. If you got complaints, I wanna hear it. If you got something I can help you with, let me know, right? Cause that really helps me drive the content. I'm a good welder but I'm not always the most creative person in the world, so your guys' feedback is really invaluable to me. Okay, until I catch you guys next time, stay safe out there, keep making a lot of money, and I'll see you next week.